Hi, this is Gil. I want to go ahead and talk about compression threads. How do you measure compression threads so that you get the right one? Now, how do you determine what size compression nut and ferrule you need? Um, is it measured like national pipe thread? No, it isn't at all. You take a rule and you measure the outside diameter of the actual pipe. So on this one here, you have 3 8 of an inch. So this is going to be 3 8 inch compression. It doesn't use the inside diameter like NPT. Uh, why they call it, don't ask me why, it's just how it works. So this is going to be a 3 8 inch compression fitting because it's going to be using the outside diameter of that. If you look at the matching check valve, for instance, right here, and you put a rule across the inside where that tube would go, it measures 3 8 of an inch as well. So this is going to be 3 8 inch compression. This is a transfer tube for an air compressor. Compression nuts and ferrules are typically made of brass most of the time. They have to be able to compress, they have to be malleable. This one here, it already has it on there. There's a compression ring inside as you can see and it looks like a small wedding band and then you have the compression nut. Same thing on this side. You have the actual ferrule. There we go. Get it down. It looks like a wedding band. As you can see on this one, it has been compressed to squeeze and seal this particular copper tube. Now the compression nut is concave right around here so that as you screw it onto the fitting, it actually pushes this down. A very important thing when you install compression fittings. You want to make sure that you slide the compression nut on first on your tube. You slide the little wedding band ferrule on there second. This has already been installed. And then you insert it into the fitting. You do not want to jam this thing all the way down and seat it against the bottom of the fitting. You want to pull it up a little bit about an eighth to a quarter if you have that much play. And then, once you have that, you slowly slide the compression nut down and you begin to tighten this up. And you want to complete it by taking the appropriate wrench for the compression nut. And on that, you want to go ahead and tighten this sucker down. And you want to tighten it down pretty good because this compression ferrule in there needs to be able to squeeze against this pipe and it needs to tighten it down all the way. So you want to make sure that you give it a really good tug without breaking it so that this will seal. Because it's going to use the compression ferrule against the mating fitting that's concaved to give you that perfect seal. Like I said, compression fittings are pretty easy to determine. You simply measure the outside diameter of the pipe and that's the compression size you need. For the fitting, you actually just measure the inside diameter, which is going to be the same as the outside diameter of the tube, and that's going to be the size as well. So compression fittings are straightforward. Hope that helped.